Okay. Very Let her hat go. So I was on, sorry, um, so you touched on this a little bit, but I was wondering how the uh, the 2016 election has kind of affected your company. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can I, I'll, I'll answer that for, okay. for you very quickly. I think, I, think, I think literally every comedian has had to struggle with that question, and each person has come to a different solution to how to deal with that question because it is ever present in people's minds. Uh, and so there's a fine balance between wanting to kind of address it and not wanting to over address it. That's been my experience. I don't know if you guys have a similar well, the, I mean, the, the, pro the, pro the problem is that there is, no, there is no comedy to go with what's happening. Uh, it inspires rage and it is intrinsically so absurdly comedic in, in itself that there's no jokes that you can make that go beyond the jokes that they're making themselves. It's, I've made a lot of great jokes about it. Jackie? It's, it's, it's so terrifying that uh, you have to, and, and in stand-up you have to address the terrifying, but uh, it can be done poorly, it can be done well, and uh, it's happening across the way. And in some cases, some comics are choosing not to address it because people need an hour and a half of fucking peace. Where they just laugh about dogs and dick jokes, and and I get that too. Uh, but it's uh, but so what I try to do is I try to bleed it off of the first ten, and then uh, the the other forty five I just uh, I go back to dogs and dick jokes. 